In this morning's Health Watch, new guidelines for vitamin D and calcium. There's a new warning out this morning also that too much of these nutrients could be dangerous for your health. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with the details. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. So this Institute of Medicine puts out these recommendations, uh, and, and it's not what we've always heard about vitamin D. Exactly. And the bottom line here is do we need these two vitamins? In particular, the Institute of Medicine was talking here about calcium and vitamin D, and if so, how much, and a warning to those who might be getting too much. So to start off, with what they said about vitamin D. And you know, we speak about it a lot here on mm -hmm. this show. It's a very important vitamin, been in the news recently. We're actually not getting as much as we need. For most people, they recommend 600 units a day of vitamin D3. And for 71 years of age and up, a little more than that, 800 units a day. Now, we know we can get vitamin D from the sun. You can get it from fortified foods, but it's one of the most easy vitamins to get in supplemental form as long as you don't take too much. What about calcium? What are the recommendations and what's the best way to get it? Well, actually the best way to get calcium is really from your diet. So things like dairy, milks, cheeses, even some vegetables like broccoli, salmon, they all have vitamin D in them. But in terms of how much we need, it really depends on your age. For pre-teenagers and teenagers, they need 1,300 milligrams a day of calcium, okay. which is about the equivalent as you would get in three cups of milk and a yogurt. For adults, 1,000 milligrams a day. Women over the age of 51, they need 1,200 milligrams a day. And everyone, men and women, 71 years of age and up, 1,200 milligrams a day. What's important to remember, Maggie, when you're talking about calcium, if you do take it in supplemental form, you cannot ingest it or metabolize it all at once. So you mm. do have to divide it, usually morning and evening. Is there one group in particular of those that you showed that should be paying closest attention, someone who is most negligent about getting enough calcium? Well, actually, what the Institute of Medicine is saying is that pre-teenagers and adolescent girls are probably not getting enough. Again, it's not that easy to get this calcium from your diet, especially if you're watching your weight, which we know a lot of children right. and teenagers are forced to do now. So there are people that you really want to store up that calcium in that age group early, because after you get to be about 21 or 25 years of age, you cannot build bone density anymore. So you need to get it in that age and group. And we cannot overstate the benefit of calcium and vitamin D. Absolutely. And you know, for osteoporosis and the fractures that come from weakened bones, the estimates are that half of postmenopausal women will suffer a fracture mm. and that one out of five men Men over the age of 50 will suffer an osteoporosis fracture. So this calcium recommendation really impacts on everyone. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you, you Dr.